Okay, well, starting now, we're basically entering the restoration phase of this project. For the most part, so far, I've been just kind of taking things apart and, you know, assessing stuff, things like that. But now it's really time to uh, start making parts look good and start getting ready to bolt them onto the frame. And this is uh, hopefully where the fun is really going to begin. So right now, I'm going to go through the shop and clean it up a little bit. And that way, this whole open section right now, I can use to just lay out all the pieces that I need to paint and uh, start sort of picking out a plan of how I'm going to hang everything and how I'm going to clean it and get ready. So I'm going to jump into that now. see I have got a mountain of stuff to go through. Um, not everything in this pile is getting the same treatment. Some stuff needs to be brought to bare metal and de-rusted and de-greased and primed and all that kind of stuff. Other things uh, they might just need to get scuffed and painted. Other stuff might just need to get cleaned up. I mean obviously I'm not painting the exhaust. Once I'm done and I've got every single one of these pieces cleaned, painted, Whatever needs to happen to it, I'll have it tucked away and organized and ready to go. And as I'm reassembling the truck, I can just grab a nice clean piece. Everything's ready to go, bolt it on, you know, continue on. So that's the general idea. I want everything here to be clean and ready, uh, you know, by the time I'm ready to start putting the truck back together. Okay, well, it's nice to see all this stuff here in one place. It's uh, a little bit surprising. A lot of these things I haven't seen in a couple of months. And to be honest with you, there is more stuff here than I was expecting. But, uh, you know, I'm glad to uh, see it and get ready to get through it. First up, I'm going to dump some degreaser in here and just start cleaning some parts. The stuff actually looks pretty gross already. I'll probably need to get some more, but at least it's a start. First thing I'm going to get into is this uh, unit off the rear brakes. I think it's called a backing plate. Um, it's disgusting, but it kind of looks like the paint might still be reasonably good. Um, so we'll see. There's a little bit of rust right here, obviously. Um, this kind of stuff with a sort of baked on epoxy finish, it would be nice to uh, just sort of reuse it. Um, but we'll see what it looks like when it gets all cleaned up. I should probably pull this brake cable thing off first. All right, well, here we go. Piece number one, this is the backing plate off the rear brakes. And this uh, degreaser I got in here is already looking pretty greasy. I'll probably need to go get a couple more jugs of it, but it's a start. Well, first clean up on this backing plate. I was uh, really hoping that these could just be cleaned and, uh, you know, continue to let the original paint do its thing. But uh, there's a lot of, I'm not sure how easily you can see it, but definitely a bit of surface rust. So this will need to be brought down to bare metal and uh, the whole thing just painted again. Whoops. Being that they are brake parts, I'm going to have to do a little research. I'm not sure if, uh, I, I would imagine, you know, certain um, 
types of paint are maybe better suited to break components. I'm not sure if there would be a risk of things melting or something like that under really high heat. So uh, I'm gonna have to do a little research, but uh, overall, I mean, all the metals there, it feels pretty solid, but this is gonna be uh, a lot more work now because it's gotta get brought down to bare metal. And uh, you know, there's a lot of nooks and crannies. Getting something like this down to bare metal is never that easy, but oh well, we'll get through her. Well, a bit of horsing around later and I got these things cleaned up. They are uh, looking spectacular. Um, almost ready to paint. There's this groove, this groove in here. Uh, I ran out of wire wheels and I need to get in there and give that a good once over. But um, once that's done, I can sort of get it ready to paint. Um, Right now, uh, I'm trying to decide what direction to go next. I mean, there's so much in front of me, it doesn't really matter, just do something. Um, so I think because I'm waiting for the wire wheels and because uh, the dust isn't bad in here right now, but there's a bit of it in the air, so I don't want to paint because of course it'll settle into it. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do now is pull apart the leaf springs. All right, well, you might be asking yourself why in God's holy name would I uh, pull leaf springs apart and paint them? And I have to say, I kind of agree with you. Um, these are new leaf springs that I bought with the new uh, Carly Dominator uh, 3.0 lift kit. Um, so these are a Deaver spring. They're rated as a light three quarter ton. And obviously this truck's a one ton. So um, I have the Carly long travel airbag kit that uh, is ready to be installed as well. But regardless, um, I was pretty disappointed how quickly these things rusted over. Um, you know, painting it might not be the best idea because a leaf spring is always flexing. So that's probably a really tough environment to paint for paint to live on. But uh, that uh, truck bed liner stuff that I put on the rear axle, um, they claim that that never hardens. So, you know, it's a bit of a overkill. I mean, it's pretty ridiculous. It really doesn't need to happen, but eh, you know, it'd be nice to just have everything clean and painted under there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it. I've never pulled apart a leaf pack before. I'm not really sure what to expect, but I see there's a few bolts and stuff, so I'll just start undoing some things and uh, have a look at what happens, and hopefully I can get it apart. And, you know, the good thing is they're all pretty flat and straight, so it'll be really easy to uh, hit them with a wire wheel and knock the old paint off. And You know, it is uh, it is what it is. I would like everything to look nice and new under there, so, you know, here we go. Hey, that's that first one pulled apart. Okay, very good. Actually a pretty straightforward process. Wow, pretty amazing how gross those things look. You would expect this is a 20 year old leaf pack and it's not even two years old. Probably just the uh, nature of the beast with um, things like that rubbing next to each other and flexing all the time. It's probably very hard to keep paint on there. But anyways, uh, I'll be happy to uh, clean them up and paint it and put it back together. Um, just gonna jump over to the next one now. Yeah, it's really hard to show on video. I'm not sure if you can tell or not, but it is super dusty in here right now. Been wearing a mask all day and uh, definitely glad for that. All right. Well, my face <coughs> probably looks ridiculous um, with all the uh, crap all over it and wearing a mask all day. I'm not sure if you can tell how dusty it is in here, but uh, it is very dusty. Um, just got to... Uh, I just got these uh, leaf springs wire wheeled. That was pretty much a full day of screwing around. Um, you know, all dismantled. This one is in order. I took pictures of them before anyways, but that is the order that it came apart. So uh, just follow the same thing on here. And uh, starting to win the war. All this stuff 
is uh, through the first phase of um, cleaning it up. You know, obviously it'll be a lot of uh, wax and grease remover and scuffing it and all that, but all this stuff here is uh, basically ready to um, move forward on the painting process. I still have to do the drive shaft over there. Uh, I also got the uh, backing plates for the brakes. And then over here, this is the last bit of stuff. Front drive shaft, sway bar, steering stuff. But that's the last bit that needs to be stripped down to metal and uh, gotten ready to paint. So hopefully I'll get through that tomorrow.